Hello guys, I'm Spicy Bill and this is going to be an unboxing of the Hot Toys Movie Masterpiece Series MMS 299 from uh, Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron. So this figure came out in 2016, believe it or not this is 299 in the series. Uh, at this point in 2019, after 3 years, uh, Hot Toys is already up to 514 in the uh, movie masterpiece series you know that's uh that's a really really impressive number uh i think uh, they started around 2010 and uh it's not even 10 years yet but they have already cranked out uh almost 500 close to 550 figure in the movie masterpiece series and that's not this is just one of their lines uh there's also the video game masterpiece series and the, the tv masterpiece series and other stuff so uh yeah, they have really gone a long way uh of course this is a marvel property owned by disney <laughs> uh I don't know i i think i'm gonna cut back on uh you know disney marvel uh Star Wars properties, uh, <laughs> you know, due to, uh, you know, a lot of people not liking, uh, you know, the brand itself. Uh, but Hot Toy makes great figures. So this is probably going to be the last Marvel figure I review for a while. Uh, maybe, yeah, I think for this year, I'm probably going to, this is probably going to be the last Marvel related figure. Because I've been getting a lot of uh, negative feedback about, you know, Disney brands and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, that's besides the point. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Since this is, uh, you know, uh, in the unboxing, I usually talk about the box. So you can see right here, you have uh, Iron Legion, MMS 299, one six scale collectible figure. Yeah, this is uh, one of the Iron Man drone thing that he... Uh, uh, mass produce in the movie Age of Ultron. And you can see here we have the window packaging right there. And let's go ahead and take a look at the side. Very nice. I think this packaging is actually very nicely done. Of course, uh, you have all the information here. This is uh, here's the UPC code or the product code. And uh, it's a dull collectible toy ready for ages 15 and up. Uh, not recommended for ages under uh, under not for children under three years old. Okay, uh, you have all the information here. Obviously, this product's made in China, and here we have the uh, here we have the people who are responsible for creating uh, this figure. Uh, creative producer Howard Chang and J C Hong, uh, product designer Ray Ling and Isaac Chan. Engineering design also by uh, Ray Ling and Mr. Young. Uh, Paint controller, Lock Ho. Uh, accessory supervisor, Zeng Feng Jun. Packaging design, uh, photography, of course. Uh, product controller. So, actually, uh, quite a few of the same per people work on this figure. Um, yeah, I mean, this is probably mostly uh, designed using the computer because it's a, it's a robotic uh, mechanical fi uh, figure. So, yeah, it's easy, a lot easier to design. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's that. It is actually quite impressive, though. I actually, uh, I actually find this one uh, very well painted. And uh, I guess we'll see. Of course, this is not die cast. Uh, this is mostly plastic, so this guy is actually quite light right here. So that's, uh, yeah, if you guys are looking for like, you know, fully die cast figure, uh, you probably want to pick up one of those uh, die cast Iron Mans. Yeah. Those things are heavy though. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's go. I've oh, got the figure out here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, stand right here. So we have the Age of Ultron style stand. I have uh, experienced one one of these with the uh, uh, Black Widow, the Age of Ultron Black Widow figure that I reviewed a while back. So yeah, I mean it's the same stand with all the uh, uh, you know Age of Ultron series figures. It's like you get the same stand and then you just get a different blacker. This one says Iron Legion. So there you go. That's the stand. Let's actually put this back. We'll we'll take a look at that. Take a look at this in detail in the review. Uh, we have these uh, uh, repulsor hands. 
So uh, I think this one you can actually articulate. Well, I, I don't know if you can articulate the fingers. Probably not. It's a fixed pose for the reposer blast. Reposer blast. So basically, you have uh, light up gimmicks inside the forearm, and then uh, you plug the hand in there so this thing can light up right here. Oh, good thing I caught him before he fell over. <laughs> yeah. It's really not a big deal since this guy's all plastic. So like with the Iron Man, like I get really nervous when the whole diecast figure fall over. So there we go. We have the two of these repulsor hands. Like that. Uh the paint work is actually very nicely done. You get all these uh weathering on it. <clears throat> weathering on the fingers, wet weathering on the side. Yeah. This is a uh, very very high quality paintwork. Okay, so and we also have these uh, missiles thing that you can attach to the forearm. I'll show you guys that in the review. Again, very nice paintwork. A lot of weathering on the uh, uh, exterior. Looks pretty good. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. Like I said, this thing feels really light. But you can see the paint work is all very nicely done. The weathering and stuff like that. Very nice. And 2016 Hot Toys. Okay, so let's see. Uh, the hand, uh, these hands have articulated fingers. So they're actually pretty good. So yeah, he can flip people off. So. Well, I'm not going to show you guys that. <laughs> uh, just take my word for it. Just like the Iron Man figure, you can flip people off. Or do all kind of fun stuff with these fingers. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm going to remove that. I think you can remove his chest plate. Of course. Oh, you know what? Before I mess up this figure, let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions. Yes, always read the instructions before you end up destroying your $200 Hot Toy figure. So here we go, uh, instruction sheet. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually super tired right now, but uh, you know, we, we press on to uh, get you uh, to get this review done or this unboxing in the review. <laughs> so you can remove the head play, and this is where you install the batteries. Three of these uh, coin cell battery. This is the LR621 uh, 1.50, 1 which is also included. Also, uh, the back plate can remove. You install three of them into the uh, back here to light up the chest section. Uh, again, three of them for the forearm, each one of the forearm. You can replace the panel on the forearm for the missile pot. Um, yeah, here's the articulation right here. You can pull the feet down for uh, increased articulation. The leg can kick forward 80 degrees. Uh, you can articulate the side skirt right here. Uh, these are points of articulation. Be careful when posing the figure, otherwise the armor parts may collide and lead to paint fading. So you can end up scratching the paint on the figure if you're not careful. Do not pull back on the back armor with excessive force, otherwise the figure may be damaged. Well, that's good. That's good to know because I did not know that you should not be doing that. So anyway, uh, don't articulate the shoulders and the armor parts excessively, otherwise you can cause you know, scratching, fading, or damaging the paint. That's basically all it is. And yeah, uh, you can re did it? Did it show you how to remove the chest plate? Well, you can. Uh, the chest plate can be detached to reveal interior design. I guess I'm gonna mess around with that and see how that works. You know, uh, this figure is available on my eBay store. Basically, yeah, what it is is uh, this is sponsored by one of my viewers. Uh, this is actually not sponsored by uh, Boba T. Fed. This is another one of my viewers. So thank you very much. And uh, yeah. Well, partially sponsored. <laughs> he covered the uh, depreciation on this one after, uh, you know, after I'm done filming it. So there we go. The fee articulation is 
Why don't you pull the feet down? It becomes uh, a lot more stable right there. So anyway, uh, this thing actually looks very promising, actually. Uh, believe it or not, I like the uh, pl the plastic figure over the diecast one for some reason. Uh, the the diecast Iron Man figures always makes me nervous. Or well, something like this, you know. Uh, I don't feel too uh, uncomfortable with these <laughs> uh, non diecast figures. I think I figure like you know the the uh, the metal can corrode over time and stuff like that, which can lead to some problems. Yeah, I have the same problem with like you know uh, Gundam figures, like the Gundam fixed figuration metal composite metal build figures with their inner uh, metal skeleton like corroding over time all right speaking of corroding uh we also have these coin cell battery you can see this one right here it's already corroded unfortunately that's how it is you know you keep the battery inside a figure for like three years something's gotta happen <laughs> even though this thing is pretty much brand new you also got the tool here for uh adjusting the uh, lighting function which i will show you guys in the actual review itself so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for the unboxing of the uh, Hot Toys uh, Movie Masterpiece Series 299, Marvel's Avenger Age of Ultron, Iron Legion, number three. Uh, I think this is the one that became Ultron. It got damaged and then uh, Ultron becomes self-aware and then uh, eventually develop a new body for himself or something like that. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Stay tuned for the review. Thanks for watching.